So number five from paper two of the old Higher Maths 2015 circles question. There's two circles drawn. It gives the equation of one of them, C1, that's the smaller one, but it gives the centre of the larger one. And it says, if these two circles touch externally, so they're outside of each other, what's the radius of the big one of C2 for four marks? Well, the first thing you do is extract the information from this. What is the centre of circle C1? Half of those, the negative of half of those, so it's negative 3, negative 5. Now obviously there's distances involved, so you're well getting the radius of this at the same time. So the radius, which I'll just call 1, will be the square root of the squares of the centres. You can just jump straight in, I think I will just jump straight in. That's 9 and 25, take away the number at the end. So that's root 25, so R1 is 5. Next, if they're touching, then the distance between the centres, then C1, C2 would be the same as R1 plus R2. So what's the distance between the centres? Well, that means you're going from, I'll we'll just put it down here, negative 3, negative 5 to that. Then you could put that in a big formula, or you could just say you're going from negative 3 to, t to 9, so that's 12. This is the distance here. I'm working out these, this distance between them. That's negative 3 to 9, so that's 12 along. And that's negative 5 to 11, so that's 16 up. 12 squared plus 16 squared. C1, C2 is going to be the square root of that. You know the answer to that anyway, especially when you see it here in this diagram. 3 threes, 3 fours, 3 fives. The answer to that is 20. The distance between the centres is 20 units. That means that R2 is going to be 20 minus the 5, so R2 is going to be 15 units. Now these numbers are going to be handy, because that tells you how to move from C1 to C2. It tells you the steps you need to make. So that was the important bit, distance between the centres. Now for part B, it says a third circle is drawn such that both C1 and C2, where did you go, touch C3 internally, that means on the inside, and all three centres are in a line, collinear. Well that means the big circle must go right round the outside, but clamped onto them. So, C3 must be this big circle here, where its centre is in line with their centres. What do we know about this circle? We need to get its equation, so we need the coordinates of its centre and its radius. Well, first thing is, that diameter and that diameter is the same as the diameter of the big circle. So if I use D for diameter, I know the diameter of the big circles, the same as the diameters of the two smaller ones, which means just halving everything. The radius of that one is going to be the radius of one plus the other. So that was the 5 and the 15. Take a lot of room just for this. So R3 is going to be... 20. Now we need its centre. Well that's going to be using this, this line here. The centre C3 is somewhere along the line from C1 to C2. So if that's its centre, which is 20 in, then we can figure out C3 because it's along the line C3, C1 to C2. But what are the distances? Now this is how much can you, can you show? You know that that radius of the big circle is 20. The radius of the smaller one here is 15, so that means that this portion between the two centres is 5. And if the distance between these centres is 20, that means that this part here between these two centres is 15. So what that says is C3 divides the line C1, C2 in the ratio of 15 to 5, which is 3 to 1. Just doesn't look like it there because of the scales. So you can figure out C3 because that means that that's going to be 3 out of the 4 bits. So that means that going from C1 to C3, if you like, is going to be 3 quarters of the distance between them. We already had that. It's going to be 3 quarters of 1216. So that means it's going to be 9 and that's 12. So you can work out C3. Starting at C1, C1 was negative 3, negative 5, 
add on 9 and add on 12, that means C3 is going to be at 6, 7. And then put that all together for the equation of the circle, radius 20, centre 6, 7, equation of the circle, put it here, x minus the x coordinate, y minus the y coordinate is the radius squared, which is 400.